Mate. This yeah. is amazing, isn't it? Look at the weather. First full day of riding. Excellent. Sun's out. Morning, George. Morning, Rich. How are you? Yeah, very good, thanks. Good sleep. Oh, I don't want to get out. Hey folks, how are you doing? It's Richard from Bikepacking Adventures. I'm here in Kent, the Great British Escapades. Yes, I'm back again for the second year. I've come back with a mountain bike this year. I'll drop a link to a previous video if you want to go find out a little bit more about the bike. folks hope you're doing well welcome to another video on the channel this is the uh, great bush escapade started out in the pouring rain heavens opened came from nowhere few people arrived with any sort of waterproof and i was one of those people opting for more summery clothes eventually we got going out of the woods and here you can see me flying just through the beautiful kent countryside arrived at rochester i think it's about 10 p.m something like that and eventually arrived here at Rygate Hill at the Pagoda. Managed to get a quick power nap, about 25 minutes or so. And then was off again here reaching Box Hill, that climb made famous by Zwift, of course. I actually recorded the first part of this video in hyperlapse mode. That means everything was super slow, like slow motion, and no audio whatsoever. So I'd have had to uh, get a little bit technical and uh, speed all this part of the video up. I went down Box Hill, it was absolutely amazing. It's really cold though, really chilly. It's about half five in the morning, something like that. After Box Hill was out of the way with, there's a nasty hiker bike section, which I also remember from last year. This is a little bit further along as I get towards checkpoint one. I can't remember the name of the place. But it was a train station and it gave us everybody the opportunity to grab some food, go to the toilet, you know, get some drink and just to have a quick power nap if you wanted. I probably spent about 25 minutes, half an hour there just doing all of the above and then eventually it was off again. So as you can imagine I've arrived at CP1 and I've filmed absolutely nothing. There's been uh, stuff in my face with food, a bacon sandwich and in a sausage sandwich, latte. Time to get it going again. It's uh, about 25k to uh, Hazelmere, which is the next kind of big town that we're going through. So that'll be a stock up point. Won't be a cafe. It won't be a cafe stop. I don't think. I'm just gonna get some food and uh, yeah, keep on moving. So first day of full riding. I just remind myself in these glasses. Um, I forgot to bring mine with me. That's by why you'd be watching me not wearing the glasses up to this point. Again, forgot them. Uh, so, Kevin Francis, who's the organiser of the Great British Escapade, some in his car. So, uh, we're here with these jawbreakers for Oakley's. So, I've always wanted to wear a pair, so 
good, opp good opportunity to try out up here and see what I think to them. Anyway, back to my effort. As you can see, blue skies up there. Awesome. Still a little bit chilly though. It is very sandy. Very steep. Very beyond me, unfortunately, at the moment. If anybody's like, oh yeah, it's dead easy. You might want to try it on a fully laden bike, but it does add a whole new dimension. <laughs> Mate, this is amazing, isn't it? Riding. Excellent. Sun's out. No rain about. Another beautiful woodland. I think we must be getting close to Hazelmere now. Hope so, because getting low on water. That's what I'm talking about. Oh God, God it's just exploded all down one. I know, that's what happens. It's, it's impossible to open the garlic dip without it. I managed, alright? I managed to drop Richard in it with the... Um, oh, the so they were like, oh, I know you've got a tail thing because I watched Francis Cage. And I, was oh. like, I was like, Francis Cage, rubbish. You want to watch, you want to watch bike packing adventures? I know. <laughs> We started a craze here in Hazelmere. Everybody's gone to the beach shops. Uh, what have you gone with? Margarita, man. Margarita. Excellent. And we're about to find a, a tree like this one, which is not in the middle of a busy town. Uh, get 40 winks. Just be enjoying 30 minute nap. Just on the outskirts of Hazelmere. In the middle of a roundabout, like you do. So I was pretty desperate to uh, to get a quick nap. So roundabout it was. I can tell everybody now. Slept on a roundabout, and it had no Garmin listed no climbs between us and lunch. Okay. And I was like, Look, mate, it's all downhill now. <laughs> it's downhill to lunch, mate. making our way over to Grafham now. Um, it's a little bit of a rest. Um, again, some food, maybe get a couple of energy drinks and get them going again. Uh, so we're going to start to enter the South Downs properly and have some real good fun in the field. Good wide open views. I'm so glad we made it. Halfway there. Oh, living on a prayer. <sighs> I uh, really had to put some ought to put some music on because I've had these uh, things on my head the entire time and not been playing any music. So George, when we're riding with, he's gonna get an ice cream in. He read my mind, I was thinking ice cream. <laughs> so we just left Grafham. Having gone up that beep, 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 hill. So George, how was that walk for you? Uh, very, very tough. Uh, it's tough on the arms because you're holding the bike. <laughs> It's tough on the feet, and uh, it's just working out those tired legs. What, what about your lungs? 
Oh, the lungs were going, the heart was going, don't worry. <laughs> My feet can't rate for the day walking on a bike packing trip. Yeah. <laughs> that was mental. Absolutely mental. As hard as I remember it last year. <sighs> oh, this bit from Gratham is seriously long work. Uh, just, just gone past cadence cycles. Drag, everyone's dragged themselves up the next hill. Long, steep climb. It is hard work. And I think it's just uh, we rinse and repeat until uh, we should eventually stop somewhere. Thank you, sir. <sighs> He's a bit gliding down the hills now. Beautiful. folks the uh, hopefully final day of the Great British Escapades <laughs> oh, I'm barely with me I'm up morning George morning Rich how are you yeah very good thanks good sleep yeah yeah <laughs> so so oh, oh I don't want to get out I don't know I never want to get out <laughs> <laughs> have to at some point yeah I know it is, isn't it? Quite snug and warm, and get, when you start getting dressed and everything, you're like... We're going to have to get colder to get colder warm. Colder to get warm again. And, oh. and, it, and there's my backup alarm, <laughs> just in case yours didn't go off. Anyone for golf? Enjoy me as I run along the South Downs Way, straight through the middle of the golf course, dodging balls left and right. Everybody's in bed so out there. Saturday morning, about quarter past seven, I think. High Combe, the name of the place. Just left the BP garage, had a breakfast morning, coffee. Got going again. <sighs> Messed about with layers and stuff. Hopefully, all set between now and Alfriston which is the uh, second control point of the Great British Escapades. 
enough water and food to go there and beyond. I don't think it'll be a long stop. What is there is uh, a shop and a cafe. I don't really want to do this sad sit down thing this year. I just want to keep moving, not waste any time. Because from this point onwards, there's still about 180k to do. You know, it's, that's a long day riding off road. So a long day riding on road. Got George ahead of me somewhere. I just had to stop, take the bass layoff, and uh, it took a couple of minutes. Finally, put some music on. Got a bit of prodigy, uh, smack my bitch up in my ears at the moment. <laughs> a bit of Charlie said. What we've got at the moment, is it fire starter? Yeah, fire starter. So yeah, something to wake me up. Uh, right, anyway, let's concentrate on this. I wish I could play what I'm listening to. Frankie Knuckles, your love. Classic 80s house. What a view that is. So we're uh, on to the good bit of the South Downs. By that I mean where the people come and walk. Smoother, faster flowing, epic views. This bit's got it all. Thank you. Wow, epic view. Right in front of the camera. Don't know if it's hard to appreciate. Right in the middle there, we've got a hill on the left. On the right, just rolls down into the middle. Just pan around, absolutely stunning. Beautiful up here. God, this one is, this one is a tough climb. The agony. Just popped a couple more ibuprofen. Can only hold 15% so long. God. Wow. I'm not sure it's the last one before I was turning over. Because at some point, there's a, like a radio Mast on the top. I think that's this side of Alfreton. Might be wrong. You say Alfreton, Alfriston, something like that. Alfreton is there. Oh no, not to give me show or something. Right, gate number four hundred sixty-five.
<sighs> wow, so many cows. <laughs> Do you mind if I walk past? No. Hello. Can I come around the back there? You're not going to poo anywhere at me, are you? Hello. Oh, I didn't want to be on camera. If you've never been to the South Downs before, have you? I've <laughs> learnt. It's a very popular place to come. I'd love to uh, one day maybe get my hiking gear and uh, hike bits of it. You know, sleep up here. Thank you. I knew there was a more rocky a bit. How good is this? at Alfriston. Got myself a pasty, about to have that, chocolate bar, Coca-Cola, a bit of drama going on as well, got sidewalk damage. So just took a tube in there. George arrived about 10 minutes ago, so we're not that one that far apart. At its finest. I am seeing the uh, horse on the hill in that direction. One of many horses on hills, I think. Absolutely beautiful. And uh, and the weather. Yeah. Beautiful, spot on. So we're just coming off the South Downs, well we will be shortly. That must be about 140k to go. This has absolutely been an amazing weekend, yet again. This is my second great British escapade. And who knows, I might be back a third time. It's not my neck of the woods, so it's good to see different things. You can't remember all of it, it's got its highlights. And you know, I'll remember those most things that are stick in my mind. I will say that my favourite part of the Great British Escapade by far is 
South Downs. It's just incredible. I just love rolling across fields like this. And okay, it takes you a while to get up here, but once you do, it uh, feels like miles upon miles of uh, this perfect riding conditions. Whether you're on a gravel bike or a mountain bike like I am. Largely, this uh, route has been the uh, opposite of overgrown and uh, well looked after. It's not uh, the path less travelled. You know, you follow them in the footsteps of thousands of people every day. You get some amazing descents like this to hone your skills. Single track as well. I know I'm just describing what I'm seeing, but it's it's all like this. Uh, from time to time, you look at stuff and go, "Oh my God, is that a bit too much?" And it's sure it is. Oh look, booby spot. <laughs> Been following this beautiful cycleway for a long time now. It's great to see them. It brings people together into the uh, countryside and that gets people on bikes. Except I'm going to have a bit of a moan on this one because obviously I've been a long time and I'm, I'm prone to moaning about stuff. And that is this one. It's just been up the hill continually for what seems like miles and miles and just very gradual, you know what I mean? It's just it's exhausting. <sighs> you know, I prefer steep stuff rather <laughs> than long, gradual things like this. I just feel like sitting down for two minutes. Oh. Just a quick pit stop because it's just been oh relentless. Like wait around to the uh, the guy with the orange top to arrive and then just get back on. So this is where I am uh Hailsham. It's hard work going up here. And I don't know if this is the name of the place where I am, but I saw a sign what says Badbury World of Trees. Bradbury trees. Hopefully there's no well hopefully there's not a lot of red route. There's about 40 metres of the cardiac route just to get into here. So hopefully that's it because it ain't happening. Steep climbs and shit. Berms. No thanks. Short talking about trying to put the fucking suspension on, I Again, there we go. So I'm just trying to get through this nonsense to the uh, final resupply. Can't remember the name of the place, but it's not far. Seems to have taken ever to get to. Yeah, I've not been myself since cuckoo trail at that bench I just not been very motivated you know I was hoping when I got back off road I'd cheer me up a bit and did take my mind off things a little bit because you're often uh, thinking more when you're riding off road thinking about where you're going it's on the road, isn't it? It's a little bit easier, isn't it? Less to think about. And let's face it. And let's face it. There was a lot of tarmac. A lot of tarmac from our bike. I mean, talking about 40k. It's been a long day of tarmac. A long afternoon of tarmac. I found myself in uh, St Michael's. Bit of a donna kebab in a wrap. 
with some chips as well. And behind me is the premier. Just gonna pop in there. Got a few supplies and there. Just enough laps to 65k I think it is. If I finish if I finish this side at midnight, fantastic, but we'll just see how it goes. Oh, sorry about the uh, wobbliness. My uh, camera's away packed. I think I captured this uh, last time actually. Because uh, it was like, oh my god, here we go again, kind of thing. But uh, as you can see, creepy. Just in the woods. Uh, there's not much light left in the day now. It's probably quarter to, 11, quarter to 10, quarter past 10, something like that. Got a 40k to do, so it's gonna be close whether I finish before midnight or not. It's probably gonna be after, to be fair. Especially if uh, it's just gonna be like this for the next three climbs, I don't know. Don't think so. I think this is the only hikey bikey one. But you know, I always say shit like that, don't I? And it uh, always turns out differently. Anyway, keep on trucking. Oh, I haven't felt much at all for the last two, three hours. I mean, I don't know if you're wearing yourself on camera, but it's all deep fitting mud around here. I'm about 5k from end, so I'll put the camera away. There you go, quick update. Hello, folks, good morning. I'm here in the hall all by myself. Uh, well, no, myself. Just waiting for a couple of riders to come in. It is. Quarter to twelve. Uh, got in about half two, so pretty similar sort of time to uh, last year. Really, uh, got lost in the woods at the end. Spent uh, killed another hour going around in circles and uh, those muddy tracks I showed you. Um, it was just getting deeper and deeper, and eventually I got to a fence and went. I'm sure I recognise that fence, and I'd gone a complete loop around these uh, dirty, muddy. Woods, so I uh, <laughs> got on my Google Maps and just uh, got back on the road and uh, about five minutes to get around, well, five miles to get around those bloody woods on the road. Anyway, managed to finish it, um, really enjoyed it. Great British escapade. I'll drop a link down below if you want to go out and uh, find a little bit of information about the adventure. Really enjoyed. The, the mountain bike, it made light of lots of the route, but it's nice and light, um, and I rode relatively lightweight. We're just gonna watch a few riders arrive at the end of the escapades this year. Comments, questions, do get involved below. Give the video a thumbs up, and if you're not already, already subscribed, now might be the time. I'll see you in the next video. Take care, bye bye. How are you feeling? Alright, have we met before? Yeah, I think so. Oh, wait, you must have recognised your face. Yeah, no. Feeling good? I'm, I'm, I'm feeling good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I feel it's good. I'm feeling good. It's Tired, good. Yeah. 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 I'm glad the last day was a bit flatter and more roady. Yeah. So it just sort of. Uh, almost, uh, yeah, yeah, that final third's got a different kind of feel to it, hasn't it? Yes. Here he is, the devil himself, the crater. Of the uh, Great British Escapades. We need to go home and have a shower. <laughs> it's alright for some. <laughs> of course well done, it is. <laughs> That's a jump forward from last year. Yeah, Jeez. well done. Yes. That's a, that, I'm going back with a packet of uh, M and M's, a Red Bull or something. Like, like it's How overrated. long have you been carrying the water around for? Anthony. Waitrose in uh, Hailsham. <laughs> 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 <laughs>